Okay, right. We're getting there. Also, apparently, you guys can't ever get there. Great. Well, all right. God damn. Wreck him. Wreck him. All right. One, two. Yeah. Golden Horde has entered a coalition against us. Whatever. Don't care. Guess we'll get some extra morale. Looks like we might need it. They're in the middle of sieging Constantinople. Which is really bad for us. Start getting everyone back over here and across. You know what we can. We still got a decent number. And a lot of it's cannons, which I'm not actually sure if that's any good or not, but why? Why are you doing that? I know I'm being decadent as all hell here, but come on. Expect a little better out of you guys. Come on. Chop, chop. Christ. All right. Another 96,000 down here on the defense, apparently. Uh, no, protect their independence. Make those into cores. And can we just military tech? Defense in depth. I'll take it. Because apparently we need it. Not really. If I honestly mustered up everything I had and really, you know, did it, I could probably win, but. Oh well. Let's get our flying battery, shall we? Competent cousin. Anything for the deer? Bisilius and all that. Mm hmm. And done. Their 10,000 cannons surrender. Alright, so, all things said and done, despite the horror that this has been, we're back on the winning track. Alright, so what would an arm, United Army actually look like? 40,000 and 16,000. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is that correct? Oh no, we only need like four cannons. I thought I read twenty-eight of both. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. All's well, then. I think with the defeat of the Central Polish Army there, it's not going to be a problem anymore. I think all we needed was, you know, one solid set of string of victories like that to really uh, push the envelope. Oh, 
march together. Corruptible, death to spies. Alright. There we are. Let's march. Truly, really you guys there. You guys head for Kursk. We need to start pushing into the backs of Lithuania here. Rather bad string of defeats now for Poland. That tilts the war into our favor. And now, with so much of Lithuania exposed, forcing our victory shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, all these provinces will be granted. Grain trade disturbances. Support the Cossacks. Yeah. It's a bitter, harsh war, but in the end we win it. I mean, no one's really surprised by this, and God knows the coalition will stretch from North America to Japan at this rate. But that's okay. So when this is all over, we're going to begin the uh, annexation of our various states. And the Eastern Orthodox Empire shall be born. Alright, so Minsk. Where is their capital? I don't see the crown on any fort around here. Oh, there it is. It's because there isn't a fort there. This will take a moment. Because it is kind of worth a lot of war score if we take it, so. Gotta make sure that we do. There we go. Yep, suddenly, uh, suddenly they're starting to see their, the, their problem. And now my mini-me's can just absolutely overrun them. Little vassal lover. All right. Apparently, we still have a few uh, separatists. We'll work on them. has left the military coalition. And now that puts us up against Lithuania. Alone. Oh, Comet, Devil's Kith and Kin. This tends to happen. Alright. So yeah, Lithuania is now down to 70% and falling. Especially as we march in on their last forts. There are 31,000 left. There is the bulk of their army. So it's kind of over. Mm -hmm. Let's go put an end to their army. Just to uh, call it a day. After all, it's not over until the enemy army is completely eradicated. The miracle of life. Well, alright. If it's that time of war, so be it. Russia gets the territory. Mm 
Not quite, but... Russia will get out all of its territory. There. Was well, this correct? Oh no, we also need all this given to Russia. Sure thing. Now, this has been a pretty, uh, you know, bit of a bit of a weak Russia, you know? Hasn't been super great. Had a lot of problems. But you know what? I think we've managed to turn Russia around with our glorious rulership. Alright. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Done. There you are, Lithuania. Congratulations to Russia. March 1886. Well, to be fair, that's mostly from my diplomatic reputation. Uh, that can be fixed. Here, we'll keep from everyone from being pissed off. The clergy do demand control of provinces, so we'll deal with that. No, we shouldn't deal with that yet because we need to give Russia a pile of provinces before that. Done through the subjects interface, Russia, Grand Province. This would cause them to become overextended. I see. Very well. I guess this is just what we'll take then. Yeah, looks like uh, Lithuanian pe peasants are going to have a good time. Okay. Let's get home to our provinces now. There. And as talked about before, it's about time we put an end to these marches. Can't lose the stability there. Oh dear, I made the cores, didn't I? Deal with it. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, double dear. And we need a stability of three to prevent it entirely. Internal conflicts we can stop. That's an easy one. Some policy changes are in order. Begin improving relations. It's fine. Uh, is it though? Hmm. Corruption, bit of a problem. Drop the army maintenance. Drop the fleet maintenance. Mothball the forts. God knows we can clean out half of them too while we're at it. Though these forts, yeah, they typically aren't going to be much of a high level. We'll keep one fort there. That said, that fort, yeah, we'll want to keep it. We don't need any forts behind Rome. Rome is our fort in the area. Fuck. Whatever. 
Don't need the island forts either. There's one. There, we just halved the number of forts that we have. There we are. Alright, so we're back on track. We might have aspirations for liberty. I'm not certain we can deal with that in time, but uh, I would like to think it's possible. And we're going to need the help of the clergy to do it. That's what I get for not paying attention. It's like, wait, I made the cores. I can't do this yet. Hang on. <laughs> Whoop, too late. Okay, we're going to need a powerful clergy. A very powerful clergy. Almost. I have to gamble this here. Because I need this to get above 75 for 150. Just to be sure. So I have to give a little more land to the clergy. Seventy four percent. Seventy six percent. There we go. So now it's a hundred and fifty admin points. Perfect. Perfect. There. That should be most of everything we need. Yeah, about that. Okay, we've taken care of most of problems now. We might be able to get our stability up in time. We'll see. Up the army maintenance, though. can't handle. Alright. So, yeah, we've done a number. Okay. Just keep spreading the orthodox. The power of the popes at an all-time low. You guys can win this fight. I believe in you guys. Good work. We'll get some reinforcements down there. These are just Russians, so... Shouldn't be too hard for us to overpower. Alright. 1894. Yeah, if we can get our diplomatic reputation up, that'd be great. Eighteen fifty four. It's not gonna be too hard to get it under, I don't think. We just can't conquer anymore. Dang. Converting those. The stability to two. So we just need 170 atom power. Yeah, we can we can total those before the revolution happens. The trick now is gonna be also managing to integrate all of our marches. And forming a true, glorious, united empire. A lot of our marches do hate us. But shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> 